G'day guys, welcome to Primal Waters. My name is Malcolm and today we are going to discuss could the Megalodon shark still exist? Now the uh, Megalodon shark, or Meg for short, lived 23 to 2.6 million years ago during the early Miocene to the end of the Pliocene. This is, it was the largest known predator in Earth's history, reaching a length of up to 60 feet and weighing around about 60 tonnes. So if you want a visual scale of that next time you're out and you see Greyhound bus, passenger bus, about that size. Now over history there have been stories of fishermen encountering large sharks at sea, uh, in particular in Australia. One such story I have talked about in previous videos are whalers in Western Australia who would tell stories of sharks measuring uh, in size of 10 metres in length, feeding off the whales they've captured and tied off to their ships. There's many more uh, stories out there as well we can go on. Uh, so is the Meg alive today? Now we know up until now 95% of the ocean is still unexplored, 97% of the ocean floor is still unexplored. The ocean is a vast area and there's pockets or areas where us humans just do not go to. There's islands out there that uh, are just too far to travel to so uh, the possibility of these sharks actually existing around these islands which we do know um, would be a food source there, there's seals. Uh, sea lions, uh, you've got uh, juvenile whales, um, there's plenty of food source. Now, uh, you think um, a 60-foot shark would leave some type of evidence, but uh, like I just mentioned before, there's pockets, there's areas uh, on this planet uh, that are so isolated that us humans just don't go to. Maybe these sharks uh, stay away from mainland, maybe they're smart enough, maybe that's the reason why these sharks have evolved and so survived today. Uh, maybe they hear the noises of our ships or our coastlines and they just stay right away. Who knows? That's the um, that's uh, something we got to think about, talk about, look outside of the box here. Now, my thoughts are that uh, for this species of sharks to evolve or survive, they needed to evolve. You know, the old Darwin theory for a species to survive, it needs to evolve and needs to adapt to its um, environment. Uh, we know that, uh, we, honestly, we don't know why they, the megs became extinct. Uh, change in climate, uh, their food source. Uh, maybe there was um, uh, some species of the meg that uh, were in isolated pockets, were able to adapt, uh, evolved, uh, evolved into maybe something smaller than what they were. Uh, I feel that um, the 60-foot sharks... Um, to be able to swim around today, I don't think that's possible. I think these sharks probably uh, ended up growing a bit smaller. Um, I'm saying around about 30 feet in length, and that's probably not as big as the uh, a bit bigger than a uh, the biggest great white shark. So, um, what about these these stories I've talked about? Uh, whalers um, encountering 10 meter sharks, or other stories I've talked about on the channel. What if um, these um, these encounters are mistaken for great whites, but are actually uh, a subspecies or a um, a evolution, a different evolution of the megalodon um, being spotted? So um, there's possibilities. You know, you can, you just, like I said, you just got to think outside the box here. Um, you can't just um, say that you don't see it and it doesn't exist. Um, but, uh, you know, that's the beauty about YouTube. That's the beauty about doing these videos here. We can d discuss this. You can uh, let me know in the comment section down below what your thoughts are. And, uh, you know, up until now, you know, there's still much to learn about our oceans and what creatures are down there. There's, you know, every... I don't know if it's every day, but um, you know, new species of uh, animals are discovered all the time in the ocean. There's species that um, are thought to have been extinct and turn up. There's a larger species, oh, is it the mega mega mouth shark or something like that? That was only like discovered back in the 70s or 80s or something like that. And that's a big shark. That's a huge shark, and uh, you know, no one really sees that shark, so you can't rule out that the meg still like, still doesn't exist all right so uh but uh that there you go guys that's it for this video i just um i would have hoped to have done a little bit better on this video but uh, let's uh, just start the discussion on on this we can do more videos in the future and talk about it and um and we can uh, kick it off with this video here and probably make a series um of this um for future videos and that so 
uh, let me know in the comment section down below. Uh, give me your ideas, what you think of. Like, I always um, I sit back and I think about this. Like, uh, I have gotten Google Maps and I've searched areas where there's isolated islands and they're out there. There's islands that are just too far to go to and they do have food sources there, seals and stuff like that. So... Who knows? All right, guys, thank you for tuning in. Uh, drop a comment down below, hit that like button, share this video, and if you're new to this channel, please subscribe. Until next time, I'll see you in the next video.